cat's what's happening. Welcome to the man cave. Just wanted to see if she would fire up and uh, temperature in here is about 45 degrees. I told you once it gets up, you know, a little warmer, she'll start right up and she did. She just doesn't like that 30 degrees and 20 degree weather. I'm not going to take a ride though. I just uh, out here, you know, brushing some of the dust off of her. <coughs> Do you ever use armor all on your seats? Don't do it. I haven't, but I, uh, I, I knew from experience from other people that if you put armor all on your seat, it's going to make it like slicker than ice. <laughs> your, your rear end will be sliding all over the place, so I'm going to recommend not to do it. The driveway just thawed out enough where I could probably get in and out but there's still a few little ice patches where the sun wasn't able to melt the the ice off so i have to be a little cautious going down there but i could get out on the road um not going to though because there's still a lot of salt on the road the roads are wet today and the salt spray come up i mean <laughs> look at my truck that's that's the salt spray you'll see it all uh, you know all that white you don't get that in the summertime. <laughs> it's all salt. And you don't want that on the bike. It's just one, you've heard me say it a hundred times, but I'll say it again. Anyway. A nice saddle. You know, I had had my saddle worked on. There, there was a local woman that, that uh, took it all apart, put some gel pads in there, and made them really nice. Uh, but for the longest time, I didn't have a pillion or a passenger seat on the back here. Um, there was a reason for that. Uh, when I, before I met V, uh, whenever I would go out riding, somebody always wanted to ride on the back. And I just got tired of it. You know, I wasn't like an amusement park ride. Uh, not, I wasn't out there just to give rides. So I took the seat off. And... Uh, you know, somebody, hey, can I have a ride? Sorry, I don't have a back seat. Well, that didn't work with V because she said, fine, I'll ride on the fender. And she rode on that fender for quite a while and really proved herself to me that she's hardcore biker girl. I did have a little pillow that I, I threw in the saddlebag that I'd give her so just so she could have a little bit of padding. So before she'd get on the bike, she'd just hold, stick that pillow under her, her rear and then sit on the fender. But there was a lot of times she said, nah, I, don't want the fend I don't want the pillow, I'm just going to ride on the fender. She did that for quite a while uh, before I had these seats redone. Because any seat that I put on here was uncomfortable for her. So I had this passenger seat redone and put the gel pad in there, which makes it very comfortable for her. And uh, the same in this one. It's got the gel pad underneath there too, which makes it a very comfortable, way more comfortable than the stock seats that I used to have on here. Anyway, have you ever ridden on the back of a motorcycle? You know, bikers call it riding bitch. You've seen that t-shirt. It says on the back, if you can read this, the bitch fell off. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody wearing one of those for quite a while, but there was a while back when those were quite the thing. Uh, I wouldn't wear that shirt because I always uh, encourage my wife to ride with me, and uh, she's a good passenger to have on board. I don't want her to fall off. I don't want to lose her. But I've got some stories of riding on the back. Uh, one of the first that I remember, I, I had a, a, a buddy that... Uh, he had just bought a brand new Honda, and he was pretty excited about it. And I had stopped over at his house to take a look at it. And uh, he says, uh, let's, let's take a little ride on it. Okay. So uh, he says, you get on the back and I'll take you for a little ride. You'll see how it runs. He wasn't about to let me drive it. Smart guy, you know, you never let somebody else drive your motorcycle. So I got on the back and he took off. Now he is a pretty good rider, uh, but he was a little bit of a daredevil too. And uh, the thing that sticks out in my mind about that ride 
was when we went around a uh, curve in the road and the exhaust pipes were scraping on the ground and the sparks were flying out the back of the bike. Yeah, I was a little bit puckered for that ride. And uh, after that, I told him, no, I, I'm not right with you anymore. And he laughed. He thought it was funny. But I thought, good grief, when you lean it over that far where you scrape the pipes, that's really laying it down into a turn. And we were going pretty fast, too. Um, I'm sure he did that a lot by himself. But when, when you're on the back, you feel awful helpless. I mean, I'm really used to sitting at the controls with my hands on the handlebars, my butt in the driver's seat, and I feel totally comfortable driving this motorcycle. Um, even as comfortable as I would in my truck. It, I'm not frightened at all. I, I have no fear of, of, you know, of riding it, period. It just feels natural to me, because I've been riding since I was a kid. It, and you know it's like riding a bicycle but when I'm sitting on the back seat it's a whole different story you, you you're on the back and the, the driver has complete control of the motorcycle and you're just hanging on for dear life I told you the story about uh, we I was at a party one time and and one of the, one of the older guys there who was a little more hardcore than me and I, I was young then I was probably about 17 years old and he says uh, hey I gotta go on a beer run who's coming with me I need somebody to hold the beer while I drive and he, he had a Harley Sportster and uh, somehow I got chosen for the task so I jumped on the back and off we went to the drive through and we picked up some beer and I'm holding it in my arm and uh, hanging on to him and he decides to pull a wheelie at the intersection. And my, my rear end went back on the tail light. I thought I was going off onto the road. Luckily, I had one grip on his belt strap that kept me from falling off the bike. Uh, he thought that was pretty funny. I didn't find it quite humorous at all. <laughs> I mean, who wants to get knocked off the back of a motorcycle? Not me. Now, I have told you some stories about uh, my ex, and there's another one. Some friends of ours, this, this was, you know, a, a biker event that was coming up, and some friends of ours were planning to get married, and they were going to have a biker wedding, and everybody was going to ride their motorcycles, and we were all going to meet at the, uh, the Coon Hunters Club, which is not too far from here. Uh, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's a rural thing, and it's a private club, and it's a shooting club, more or less. They call it the Coon Hunters Club because around here they used to hunt raccoons, and uh, they had coon dogs, and uh, they would uh, a lot of times meet there, practice their shooting skills, and bring their dogs over there and, and run coons from there and stuff. I mean, we used to have them running through the woods here, and if you ever heard a pack of coon dogs chasing a raccoon through the woods, oh my gosh, you won't get any sleep from that. Because those dogs really bay and, and yip, and I mean, it sounds, sounds like, like somebody's strangling them. So anyway, the wedding was going to be at the coon club, and my ex says, uh, well, I'm riding a Harley. I said, well what she says i'm riding the harley to the wedding and i said but it's a biker thing you know everybody's riding and uh you know what am i gonna do i don't care what you do i'm i'm taking the harley and i said well how about if i drive the harley and you ride on the passenger seat nope nope i'm driving the harley i'm driving for this wedding she's my friend and i'm driving the harley well, I told her at that point, I said, well, fine then. I'm riding on the back. Now, she wasn't that good of a, of a rider at all. And uh, I was risking my life, my neck, to get on the back. But I did, because I thought, I'll be darned if I'm going to be left out of my friend's wedding just because she's going to take the motorcycle. Surprisingly, you know, and I really thought 
it was quite humiliating to me to write on the back and let a novice get on this bike and go to a biker event. Because when we rolled in there, you know, here I am sitting on the back and some heads turned, that's for sure. But you know what? Nobody said a word. Nobody said, it was almost like they understood. It was kind of strange, but none of them said a word. And uh, after the wedding, they had a run that they were going to go on. And she drove, and I sat on the back. I rode bitch. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a little unnerving, but uh, I wasn't about to uh, sit back and miss out on the fun either. Uh, at least this way, I was part of the run. I was there with everybody on that ride. Well, that's my story for today. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had to ride on the back of a motorcycle. <clears throat> if you have, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you haven't, you need to try it at least once. Come on. Man up. Get on the back. Take a ride. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all in fun. So, well, oh boy, I got... I got bug juice on there I need to clean off and it's still wet sticky all right cats good talking to you thanks for joining me today uh, leave your comments down below let me know about your experience riding on the back and uh, hopefully none of you have had a bad experience with that but maybe some interesting ones if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the videos. I'm sure you'll be pleased to come along on this ride with us. Uh, summer's right around the corner. We'll be pulling out on the road pretty soon and taking some runs. So until next time, cats, ride hard and die free.